Have you ever wondered, why are clouds white? And more importantly, why aren't all clouds white? Why are storm clouds gray? Let's look to light to help us answer this question. Light is composed of photons. Photons are elementary particles subject to wave-particle duality. This means that sometimes they act like waves and sometimes particles. Photons have zero mass, and therefore, photons and only photons can travel at the speed of light. Now we can see where the phrase, the speed of light, comes from. All light comes from the sun. In its wave-like form, each color of light is characterized by its wavelength. These wavelengths are less than one millionth of a meter, yet we can still see them. Clouds are composed of millions of tiny water droplets. Although tiny, these droplets are significantly bigger in size than the wavelengths I just mentioned. Because we know that the white light from the sun is composed of each color of light, something miraculous happens when sunlight hits the clouds. The light scatters. Scattering is a property of light, which means that it is redirected in many different directions. Each color of light is scattered independently yet equally, so that when combined together, observers see white clouds. Great, so after talking about why regular clouds are white, let's find out why storm clouds are gray. The reason that rain clouds are gray is very similar to why regular clouds appear white. Storm clouds tend to have larger water droplets in them as it is about to rain. These larger drops are not able to scatter light, but rather they absorb it. Absorbed light does not scatter, but is cut off upon contact with the raindrop. Therefore, storm clouds begin to look like the absence of light, dark gray or even black. The specific color of gray is dependent on the number of large raindrops that are present in the cloud. Finally, the water droplets inside the clouds get large enough that they literally fall out of the sky, resulting in rain. Again, this is why storm clouds are gray and not white. And after the storm, we have a rainbow. Which leads me to my next question. How is a rainbow created? In fact, it's the same forces of nature that create the ominous storm clouds that will then create the rainbow after the storm. First, let's define a few things about light. Refraction is the slight bending of light after changing mediums, for example, air to water. Reflection is the bending of light backwards at an equal angle as during its initial contact. Diffraction, then, is the spreading of light after changing paths. Using these three concepts, we can see how rainbows form. After rain, there are still drops of water in the sky. Light from the sun travels to the raindrops and refracts internally. In changing mediums, dispersion causes the white light to break up into its component colors. At the back of the raindrop, the light is reflected back into the raindrop, inverting the light as it would normally appear in the color spectrum. Each of the colors then refract back out of the raindrop at different angles to the observer. These different angles with many different raindrops show the colors of the entire rainbow now to observers. So next time you go outside, look up and think about all the colors inside the white clouds.